Hey guys, Mike with Midwest Adventure Life. Today we're going to talk about how to glue down your PWC mats to the fiberglass body. Maybe you've got a mat in your footwell that's peeling up, or maybe you've got a mat on a swim platform on your boat. So regardless of the situation, if uh, either you're reapplying a mat or you are putting new mats down, we're going to show you how to glue the mats down to your PWC, and uh, let's get going. So the first thing you're gonna need is this Weldwood contact cement. They do make this in two different styles. You definitely wanna get the red can. Just to give you an idea on how much this covers, uh, I used one full entire can to put down both these large mats on this uh, Super Chicken or Sport Cruiser, or whatever you wanna call it. Um, I probably want overkill, we'll get into that in a little bit, but just to give you an idea on coverage, um, generally speaking, if you're just doing two, these are pretty large mats to lay down on a uh, PWC. So I'll give you an idea. Well, the way this stuff works and how it kind of reminds me of, uh, reminds me as a kid, that rubber cement you'd use that have the, the rubber tip on it or even the, uh, the glass bottle with the brush on it. Kind of has that same smell. This stuff is super flammable. I mean, it tells you to turn off your main gas line. So you definitely want to do this in a well-ventilated area. Don't do this in your garage with the door closed. Uh, my garage smelled the next day, even with the door open. This stuff is super strong, so keep that in mind. We're going to lay down multiple coats uh, on the mat and then also on its on the surface you're gonna apply it to. So right now I've got one or two coats on here. It's actually not even sticky. So what happens is if you wait more than two hours to actually apply it to the ski, you need to reactivate it with a, another coat, which is not a big deal. So just keep that in mind. You wanna let this uh, dry up for about 20 minutes and same with the side on the ski for about 20 minutes. If you just glue the mat and put it down on the ski, it's not going to adhere, or at least not well. So you, what you need to do is it needs to have, this has to have glue on it, and your uh, surface that you're applying to it has to have glue on it. This is where the tricky part comes in. So when you lay your glue down, you kinda wanna have an idea of where the mat's gonna be, because you don't wanna just lay glue down everywhere and have to go back and clean up. This stuff is uh, not, impossible to clean up but if you look it kind of you can kind of rub it off with your finger I mean, that's a real mild spot you can see i'm working it off it does come off it does curl up but it's not easy so i really recommend figuring out the footprint that it's going to take apply your adhesive to that footprint apply your adhesive to this and the other thing to remember is when this thing touches it's over that's where it's gonna stay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through these mats. I'm gonna do uh, another coat or two on each of these mats. The mats you want to, you can kind of see where, where it's, it's thicker and thinner here and it's not, all, it's not all done. So these are gonna see a lot of water, right? So I'm making sure these things are really, really, really covered um, before I lay them down. And when you do the, the adhesive on here, when it looks kind of like a varnish, and I'll show you when it's done, uh, you know you're ready to, uh, to ad adhere the mat to it. On something that's larger, I actually used a couple pieces of wood to lay down just to hold it. So as I worked backwards, if it, if it fell down, it landed on the wood and didn't land on the, on the adhesive. So I had an opportunity to reposition if needed. So the only thing I'm using to apply this is literally a paintbrush. I just got some $1.99 paintbrushes. These are, you're gonna throw this stuff away when you're done. You literally paintbrush it on, you let it dry about 20 minutes in between coats, and you come back. Remember, you want both surfaces to be tacky and to be about dry for about 20 minutes. They say you can apply it within two hours. After two hours, if you miss the window on either side, no big deal, just go back and reactivate it with another coat. So we're gonna get to it, we're gonna start applying the glue to these other pieces, and then uh, we'll apply it here. So what I did on this one is I kinda just put some tape around, this is gonna be in my footprint of where it's gonna be. Uh, it's also gonna protect me, uh, hopefully from making spills or whatever uh, as I apply this stuff onto the ski. So as you can see, we're waiting for the adhesive to set up, but that's kind of what it looks like. 
Looks like it's kind of been varnished. Um, if it's still wet, it's probably not ready. You want it to be tacky, so I'm going to give this just a little longer. I'd say about 20 minutes or more. These are the mats. You can tell they're shiny, uh, ready to go. I put the uh, cement all the way out to the pink edge so I can make sure that that, uh, that beaded edge or uh, piping edge uh, gets tacked down as well. So next step is going to be to install them, the tricky part. So now we've got, this is tacky and this is tacky. And uh, now is the fun part. We're going to make them, uh, we're going to meet them together. Uh, the goal, the trick I would say is find a line uh, that you're going to line it up to. Because once these things touch, you are out of luck. Um, in fact, I might even set this uh, paintbrush here. Just as I walk it down, maybe even up here. See, it's not even sticky, but when these two mate, it's over. So it it's tough. This one's really tough because you kind of got three edges to, to try and line up. Try and follow this outside edge with hopes that the rest of this falls into place. And then what you want to do is you want to kind of squeeze it, put some pressure on it. And that's it. Now, as we talked about before, if you do have residue, you can kind of take your thumb or finger and it will ball up into like some eraser, almost like a pencil eraser kind of material when you're done. Um, but it's not easy and it's, it's tedious. So you really want to make sure you don't have a lot of excess material to try and clean up. That's the goal. And that's why I think the tape works nicely uh, to give you a guide. I've got one more piece to put up here. Um, but that's it, guys. And uh, I suggest maybe a mask. So we'll put the one more piece on. Uh, as always, like, subscribe. Uh, check out our other videos. Um, this uh, could be the inaugural ride for this super chicken uh, in the next couple of days here, hopefully. So um, more to come. So please like, subscribe, and let us know if you uh, like to see anything else. Thanks.